Good morning, everybody. Uh, just a brief medical update. Obviously, post the India tour, there were a few concerns in niggles. Firstly, A.B. de Villiers, uh, I've spoken to him and he reports he's feeling good. His left hand has healed relatively well. The physios have been working on him and they've reported that he's got a full range of mov movement. He has good strength at the moment and he's doing his rehab. He's also been playing the odd round of golf. Uh, Dale Stain, his eighth rib minor fracture is almost symptom free. He's had four weeks of rest from bowling and the last 10 days he's been working on a rehab program focusing on, on his core and in, on his trunk. Uh, he started bowling this week and we're confident he'll be increasing to full intensity next week. Graham Smith, his left ankle uh, uh, impingement which flared up during the Ram Slam has set, settled over the past few days and he's at hard at work working on his fitness. Mone Morkel has fully recovered from his left ankle sprain and he's been participating in the Ram Slam uh, unhindered. Faf Duplessis, he sustained a right shoulder rotator cuff strain. Uh, he's, re he's responded well to a, a, a process of rehabilitation as well as rest uh, and he's been playing and practicing unrestricted. And finally, Vernon Philander, who encountered some lower back stiffness during the Ram Slam. He's also been playing and training unre unrestricted at the moment. So I'm happy to say that we've got a squad that's fully fit uh, and available for selection. I think it's concerning with what's happening in world cricket and what the consequences may, uh, may well be. But we have to accept and understand that no final decision has been made. It is work in progress. I know Cricket South Africa is convening a board meeting sometimes this or next week to discuss the principles and the proposals. I think we've got to give uh, a chance for the process to unfold. Cricket South Africa has to meet as a group. They've got to make decisions that best suit South African cricket.